We are here for the brand new workshop, Hedge Maze, Into the Creative Process. This is going to be a different beast from all of my other workshops in that I am going to be running purely on intuition and just taking something from the ground up and working on it. I'm going to get some extremely tiny uh, urchin spines to surround the urchin with. <laughs> I just put one on right there that is literally a sixteenth of an inch long, like it is just minuscule. It's gonna make these things much more substantial. So there's a mystery as to what size these things are. It's a bit like having a microscope atop my piece. I love, love what's going on. collected these spines at Haystack School for Crafts in Deer Isle, Maine about 23 years ago. It's like using my own history. It makes this a very, very personal process for me. These are diary entries in a real way. At all times as I'm doing this, I'm feeling the road laid brick by brick in front of me uh, so that it's bringing me through and into it and it's an incredibly exciting feeling that is totally mysterious to me uh, and this is what keeps me excited about doing work like this because every time I embark on making a piece I have got these questions that pop up and you know there's that there's that intuitive part of me that just says okay I know you've got questions just keep going be cool keep it going uh, things will develop uh, with their own logic okay Ooh. yeah well my heart's beating really fast <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, first thing I notice looking in here is the scale. Um, I mean, the objects aren't even in here yet, but the sense of a massive space r right off the bat, partially because of the distortion of the lens, partially because of the lighting, is remarkable. I can just, if I crank all the way to the side, I can see the inside of the blue glass, uh, the patterning on the blue glass, but it's very distorted. The inner chamber in there is much more in focus, but even that, when I put an object or a couple objects in there to get magnified by that side lens, um, is going to be very dreamy and fractured when I look at it through the front here. That's good. I want the stuff dead center to really read in this lens. Uh, the things in the main chamber and those pieces in those side. Um, oh my gosh. Right. Um, okay. Those are um, niches. This looks like a cathedral. There's something about the lighting in here and the sense of space, sense of, you know, looking up into a vast space and down into a vast space, that is like, a, you know, an old cathedral. And I think part of the thing that's um, reinforcing that feeling is the color of the lithographs all over the walls. 
which you know we've been watching as it's coming together are so bright they're so kind of rich and saturated and then you drop the light down and you light it with these pinpoint lights like this which diffuse behind that paper it's all diffuse there's not a shadow in here really it's a very diffuse uh, mellow lighting drops all the colors down to that low saturation so like you know my rods and cones I'll get fired up and worked up looking um, at, at these colors and it responds like a fresco or a um, or a, a you know a, a ceiling a painted uh, ceiling in a cathedral the objects aren't even in here and it you know it kind of took my breath away to experience this space that I've been just pecking at for um, a couple weeks now and um, and yeah it's uh, totally all worth it when you get to moments like this where you really have your first glimpse of uh, something that has built step by step walking into the maze um, just beyond my control beyond my immediate decisions one after another after another and after another and then when they're all seen in a sequence together uh, the complexity is so much more than I could have dreamed when I um, when I start on this and and look I'm not done with the piece you know the real gems are on the way so to be able to have at this point such a such a good feeling about seeing the space is um, is great is great it bodes well